disruption. So when you add all that up, Jack, 2023 is shaping up to be a year that I think is just going to be one of those years that goes into the history books for Next Tech. One of those years that we look back in awe and we just say, wow, you know, it just all came, it all came together after talking about it on your show endlessly, relentlessly, nonstop, putting out press releases. You know, I mean, look, there's well, a you, lot you, of hype out there. Yeah. That, you know, but we back it up. We're not, we're not just talking. We actually deliver the results. You say it, but now yeah. I'm saying it. Yesterday we announced our Q3 numbers. We are delivering. And from my seat where I'm sitting. I believe we're going to continue to deliver the same type of results quarter after quarter. And, you know, I don't see it stopping because the demand in the market is really just getting started. Like we've been talking about this for a long time. So people might think like, oh, you know, this has been going on for 12 months or 24 months or whatever. No, it's just Not true. true. Not true. It's we've been talking about it. Yes. We've been waiting for the demand to show up. Yes, it just showed up. It's just showing up now. And so, you know, it's starting to show up in our numbers. And that's uh, a key piece for our investors to, to think about is that, you know, look, you're investing in the future. What, if, you, if you buy a stock, any stock today, you're not buying the past. You're buying the future. And from... Uh, a future standpoint, the future of the 3D modeling business is much, much, much bigger than anything we've reported to date.